So let's talk about subtle meaning in IELTS. Now, native speakers use these words quite and kinder a lot. We're going to look at how they use them today, and you can try and use them as well, of course, in your speaking test. So there's a couple of ways to talk about food, for example. Here, we could say the food was delicious, or it was quite good, or it was kind of good, or it was kind of nice. So the important question for you is, what is the difference in meaning between those two sentences? So what do you think? Obviously, the first one's stronger, isn't it? And the second one's much weaker. So it kind of means it was average or not very good. So we're using, when we use these words, one thing to think about, if you want to describe something that you think was only average or not special, then make sure you use this kind of language and make sure you get it correct. So we can, because quite or kinder are not strong words, we don't have a strong adjective to connect with them. Quite and kinder, kinder means kind of. So when we use those words quite or kinder, they're not strong, so we don't want to use a strong adjective. So we're not going to say quite delicious, okay? Or we're not going to say quite excellent. But what we do use is just simple words, and native speakers use these a lot. For example, they'll say, oh, it was quite nice, it was quite fun, it was quite good. But notice how weak it is. It was quite good, it was quite nice, it was kind of okay. Now notice that one, there's an interesting collocation at the end. We never say quite okay. Native speakers would say kind of okay. So you can use that. Now that language, of course, is very neutral and not very strong is it at all so it has a weak meaning it means average but how about this one when we may change to that kind of sentence and we'd say it was actually quite good or it was actually kind of good now the subtle meaning difference here is when do we use that and what does it mean so a good example here is your friend has decided to cook a meal for you you don't think he's going to be a very good cook, but you're surprised. So the food was much, much better than you thought it was going to be. So when you're describing it, you might say, I went round to my friend's house and he cooked and it was actually quite good. So we're going to use it to express surprise. So we wouldn't use it for an expensive restaurant, for example. We would never say about an expensive restaurant, it was actually quite good because you expect it to be good. But if it's a friend cooking and you're surprised, then you won't, might use one of these phrases. So it was actually quite good, or it was actually kind of good. And they would be really good expressions to use in the IELTS test. You sound like a native speaker when you use those phrases. So of course, now is your chance to practice. Now you can either practice at home right now by yourself or practice with a friend. If you're having an online course with me, this will be the activity that we're going to look at and I'm going to analyze your response and I'll be listening very carefully for your pronunciation because I want you to hear nice clear pronunciation and the change between weak and strong sounds. So I hope you enjoyed that. Remember there's lots more videos available. Check them all out on my YouTube channel um, and if you're one of my online students I look forward to speaking to you soon.